property taxes are the second largest source of revenue for the unified government of Wyandotte County, with sales tax being the first. Since the unified government stayed revenue neutral, they won't have any new property tax revenue for 2025, which contributed to a $12 million hole in most departments dealing with budget cuts. The adoption of the 2024 amended and the 2025 budget. Some commissioners refuse to sign off on it because it leaves many departments without additional funding and many vacant positions unfilled. This isn't just going to happen in 2025. This is going to affect us in 2026. And we're going to have to recoup. This is a blow to our public safety, to all departments. The police department and sheriff's office declined to comment. While there aren't any layoffs, police, fire, and the sheriff's office are all having to make significant significant adjustments. Overtime will have to be very minimal. They're all looking at between one to two million dollars in funding they won't receive. There's going to be a little change in our staffing matrix on how we do things, um, but no closures are happening, which was huge for us. They were at risk of losing a fire station and pumper before the revised budget passed. It doesn't meet the national standard that, that is required for us manpower wise, but again, we can tweak some things internally to make this happen. Mayor Tyrone Garner emphasized all first responders will still be able to keep neighborhoods safe. Essential services are still solidly intact. The police will still be responding uh, and patrolling your neighborhoods as well as our fire department and our uh, EMS workers. In the grand scheme of how the unified government operates financially, he knows there's work to do. 44% of, of our revenues go towards debt. If you look at, uh, there's reports out there that we're starting to lose population. Um, if you look at uh, the light. If you look at a lot of those things that uh, really haven't been working when you talk about policies of the past, um, and I said it tonight, you can't keep doing the same things and expect a different result. In Kansas City, Kansas, Alyssa Jackson, KSHB 41 News.